Yes, you're welcome. This is your boy Jacob. Now, today we are going to look at how you can get a student's loan here in Uganda. There are many students who finish their O and A level, but they lack enough funds to further their careers forward. In this video today, we are going to look at how you can get a student's loan from the higher education students' financing bodies, uh, how to be eligible for that loan, how, which universities to choose and the courses, and also how to make an application for you to get that loan. So if you are really interested in this content, just stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to give you all the details you need to get this student's loan. So we are going to see what it takes to be eligible for a student's loan here in Uganda. Number one, you need to be a Ugandan citizen. If you are from outside Uganda, if you are not a citizen, uh, you can't be eligible for this loan. You should be admitted to pursue an accredited undergraduate diploma or degree program in a listed higher educational institution, private chartered university, or public university in Uganda. Accreditation is by the National Council for Higher Education. So you must already be having your admission in hand before you even you apply. Uh, you must be having admission in one of these institutions. I'm going to show you the institutions which they have listed for you to be eligible for this loan. Uh, you have to apply for specific courses and in a chartered university. I'm going to show you all this as we keep on going with the tutorial. Number three, you need to have a financial need. Yes, you need to be someone who is not able to pay university fees. Either you are from a, a, a poor uh, back home background, they cannot take up your fees. There has to be something to show. If you are just someone from a rich family or a family which is able but doesn't want to pay fees, uh, that kind of person is not needed. You need to come from a family or a background where they are not able to send you to the university or to an institution uh for this type of course due to lack of funds then number four an application must be a joining in the first year or continuing student so you must be either you are just joining in the first year or a continuing student for you to be uh, given these funds however the board currently funds final year students among the continuing student so if you are a continuing student, you already in the school and you want to help, basically they fund those ones in the final year. The board also takes into consideration regional balance, gender, social economic needs, and equity. Yeah, so for this one, basically they consider all regions. They won't give loans to only people in the central or only people in the West, something like that. They need to see that at least every part of the country has people who have got a loan scheme. So basically they have to balance to make it a, a fair for everyone to get a chance to get a loan scheme. So basically that's what this point uh, is all about. So now we are going to look at the universities, both public and private universities, and institutions which are allowed uh, where this loan can be taken. We so we are going to look at universities and institutions which the Higher Education Students Financing Board uh, wants you to go and take the courses which are recommended. Basically, these universities need to be chartered. Whether it's a public or a private university, it needs to be chartered. So these are the public... So these are the public universities which are recommended uh, for you to take up any course. It has to be either city, for public universities, it has to be Vusitema University, Golo University, Kabale, Chambogo, Lira, Makerere, Mbarara, Moni, Soroti. And also note that Makere University Business School is an affiliate of Makere University. So basically these are universities where you have to take your undergraduate courses. Then we look at the private universities which we have, which are recommended. There is African Bible, Bishop, Bugema, Isbat, Islamic, 
Kampala International University, Kampala University, Mountain of the Moon, Ndege, Ngumba, Uganda Christian University, and Ugandan Matter. So those are the universities which are recommended for you to take up your undergraduate courses and where you stand a chance of getting on the loan scheme. Now let's look at the tertiary institutions which are recommended for you. It needs to be Uganda Allied Health Institution, Nursing and Midwifery, Agriculture and Conservation Colleges, National Teachers College and Technical Colleges. So in Allied Health, the institutions which are accepted is Uganda Institute of Allied Health Management, Health Tutors College, Fort Porto College of Health Science, Guru College of Health Science, Bale College of Health Science, Rutavika School of Psychiatric Clinical Medicine, Ginger School of Ophthalmic Clinical Medicine, Bale School of Hygiene, and Ginger Medical Training College. Then for the nursing students, for these nurses of mine, all both uh, those who are beginning and extender, these are the schools which are recommended for you to take up your loans. Uh, Arua School of Comprehensive Nursing, Utavika Psychiatric School, Ginger School of Nursing and Midwifery, Kabare School of Comprehensive Nursing, Soroti School of Comprehensive Nursing, Mlago School of Nursing, Public Health Nurses College, Lira, and Masaka. So basically those are institutions where you can take up these loans. So for others, those of Agriculture, National Teachers College and Technical Colleges, you can come to this website and look whether the institution you want to study in is among those which are recommended. Now we are going to look at the courses which you can take up when you are on the student loan. Courses which you can take are Human Medicine Programs, Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Science Program, Laboratory Program, Nursing and Midwifery Program, Agriculture Forestry Program, Pure Science, Special Needs Educational Programs. So we are going to look at some of the common questions which people have when they are taking up these loans. The question number one is what is the grace period of this loan? So according to HESFE Act, the grace period for when you take up this loan is 12 calendar months after completing the study program from which the loan was awarded. As as one of your questions, if you take up this loan, you only need 12 months. That's roughly one year for you to start paying up this loan. So another question which is very common and very interesting is what happens when a loan takes long to get a source of income? And this is very common, especially if someone took up a, a course which is not so marketable and probably uh, you've taken long to get a job. So this is how they answer this. It says that a person who has no income for the repayment of a student loan shard within 14 days after receiving a notice of under section in the prescribed manner informed the board accordingly and thereafter update the board with information concerning he or her position after every three months. A loanee can only negotiate a flexible repayment plan within their repayment period but must complete their loan repayment within a stipulated period. So you see, if you have any problems with income after your school, probably you've not yet got a loan, you need to keep updating them every three months of your status and make sure at least you try to pay when you get a loan, I mean when you get a job. So another question which is very common among a loan takers is, what is the loan repayment period for a person who is going to take up a student loan? The maximum loan repayment period is twice the study period in addition to the grace period of one year. So there is also room to negotiate favorable repayment terms including early repayments. So you see, so the loan period basically, let me say you took a three-year course. The loan repayment period they give you is twice the period of study. So it can take up to six years plus one year, which is the grace period. So they can allow you to take seven years if you took a three-year course. If you took a five years course, it ca they can allow you to repay for up to 10 years plus the grace period, that is one year. So you take your time, but you make sure you pay their loan. So I'm going to take you through on how you apply for a student's loan with the Higher Education Students Financing Board, 
basically you need to log in into their website which is www.hesfb.go.ud so you log in you come to a site which looks like this you scroll down then you press on apply apply now so when you press on apply now it will take you to a site which looks like this so this site has integrated loan management information system which is in bracket i l m i s so you scroll down you scroll down you see what they call a student's loan then down there's a loan status so you press on apply now then you go on and say apply online so when you apply online you go to a site which looks like this and you scroll down the first one is already have an account this is for people who are returning and already have an account they log into this one but if you are a new user you come down here where they say you are a new user so you create an account with this site so what you do after creating an account and getting your password you log in to, into details you log in into your you log in and start filling in your personal details parents details admission and loan details declaration and recommendations print out the recommendations and take it to the responsible people then what you do next is pay and submit the application to the nearest centenary bank after doing all that you leave the rest to the higher education student financing board which you will do the selection and communicate to the only successful applications in this process so you will need the following documents for the online student's loan application three passport size photographs acceptable valid form of identification like a national id passport driver's license voter's card school id or an ssf card you will need a bank slip confirmation payment of an application fee academic certificate or pass slip birth certificate admission letter to the higher education institute basically an admission letter from your uh, institute or university a crb or financial card then a sketch map to the applicant's home of origin a sketch map for, of your home of origin so basically these are the documents you need before you even start the online application so in summary this is what you need to go through to do an online application for a student's loan Number one, login in www.hesfb.go.ug. You log in, you create an account number two with the ILMIS Integrated Loan Management System. After creating an account number three, fill in your personal parents' details, admissions, and loan details. Number four, fill in the declarations and recommendations. Five, then you print out the recommendations and take it to the recommenders. Six, pay and submit the application to the nearest centenary bank. So after paying for the application fee and everything. Then number seven, what you do is you have to wait for the higher education student financing board to do the selection. After them doing the selection, they will communicate to only successful applicants who have submitted. So basically, this is the summary of your loan application. So if you're a student out there and you don't have money, don't hesitate to try out some of these chances which the government has put on for basically students to pursue their careers, especially those who don't have money. If you are a student and you don't have money, your parents cannot take you. Please try out some of these chances. Many students have tried out and they have taken on these loans so after getting your job you can easily pay off this loan with ease uh, if you get a job early even if you don't get a job in time you can inform them they'll wait until you get a job uh, within that grace period and then you start paying them according to the agreed period so this is a super story on how you can apply for a student loan here in Uganda